Hello, it's Dominique. I want to share with you my latest project. I have just finished it today. I worked all day today, and yeah, all day today. And uh, so I used the uh, Unicorns and Rainbows from DCWV. I had bought these stickers from, I think it was, well, Hobby Lobby. I paid $2 for this thing, and those are so nice. Like, they are puffy, like this. And here they are kind of flat, and these are puffy. <laughs> it's like uh, foam, like memory foam, I would say. It's crazy nice. So I bought two packages because I said, okay, I get, I gotta. Well, first I bought one, and then I said I gotta get some papers to make <laughs> a unicorn and rainbows uh, kind of uh, album. And then I got these papers, and it's a 36 uh, sheets of 12, uh, 12 by 12. And I said, okay, I've got enough for two projects. So I bought another pack when they were 50% off. And also had these uh, sticker bolidi. They had I used some of the. Um, stickers those they look like they're plastic they look like they're vellum but they're plastic and they're kind of uh, velvety it's really nice and they're the translucent you can like they're transparent you can see through them so I used a couple but I kept uh, some for later and I had also these that I had bought some time ago with the glitter so I want to show you uh, first I, I want to show you that I haven't used all of uh, not even half of uh, the pack. I've got all of this left. Look at all this. I can use a. Pro I can make a project here with these for sure. And also, I have this one sheet I haven't used, so I still have the two here. So I can make at least two more projects. Well, not more than that. I said please, but it's not more than that for sure. But uh, two small ones for sure. So I want to show you what I made. Cute little album. Look at this. <laughs> so cute. I was watching yesterday, um, I was uploading a video because I did a tutorial of this one uh, in French, sorry, but still. And um, I was checking to see if there was anything on YouTube. And there was, um, Rosa Kelly had made something. And she had used, this is the one I had put away for the, the front. And she has used the same. I don't want to be, to look like I have copied her. Well, the album is very different from mine, but still. Uh, I thought it was the best one because I wanted to use this magical one. And this is purple. And this is light purple, so it had it matched together. So and also I wanted to use some pink here, so I needed to pink. So need pink and purple. That was the the sheet that was really matching that. So I said, well, maybe she liked it just as much as I did. <laughs> so here I may not, I'm going to measure you, your uh, the album. Though. So this is six inches high. Uh, yeah, just just six inches. And here is seven by three and a half. But the inside is three because I have chipboard here. It's pretty thick. Here I use some um, kind of furry uh, swirl uh, fabric and I glue this one. It looks like it's not glued on but it's really there. It's glued there. And it's the back. Another of the stickers. Some uh, cheesecloth. And this is the only lace I had in my stash so I was happy to have it. And this cute little trim that I had bought at my dollar store here close to my town. So um, I'm really happy about this one. I used some blings and then uh, I had in my stash, you know, kind of some of the stickers, the puffy stickers. So it's a regular album. I have two little ribbons, and here I put some blings here just to give some uh, interest to the, the the ribbon, the closure, because uh, we always put them, and then we don't want to see exactly where they come. But I think that they are so important, and uh, that we should kind of enhance them with those little and that was because I had only these left a couple more but that's it put some on the nose here and there on the flowers so it's just a three page uh, so that means eight pages a regular album so first I have the, the pouch here on this side so I have used uh, the uh, the border sheet for that because I really like this one and then I didn't want to cut it because then what do I do with the rest so I decided to keep the whole thing and it had these little donuts, so I continued them. And I even removed the part where the donut, I didn't want to kind of spread the donut ends here, it starts over here, it has to go like as if it was just cut here. So I did that. And here I have put just the one card because I uh, didn't have that many left. But they can expand this to a, um, a whole inch. No, uh, three quarters of an inch. And it can be jam packed. I get this thick because there's room here. I'll show you. If I put it completely full, you see there's room in my album. I put my pages uh, 
according to this because I had made the the main pocket the, the expanding uh, pouch uh, <clears throat> I had made it with my pages and then I just kind of decided how big my spine would be and I made it so big that there's there's room anyways but I, I made sure that I could use the, the whole thing jam-packed because what's the point doing a pouch if there's no room to put anything in it and also what I see also um, on other people's um, um, albums when they make the pouch they don't have a gusset here so or they have a small small one like maybe a quarter inch so what about when it's full what are you gonna do so it's not gonna close so you cannot contain everything there it's kind of shut here so you have to have like two I have two gussets here like I have here the same so if it's full it's full like this and if it's flat it's flat like this so best way to do it and I use the um, envelope closure like that and here so I have three pages each page is an envelope uh, it's a pocket page I mean and they have the insert on the side and it's attached with my system my hinge system that I have created which I call stack and fold and, uh, I've talked about that in the past uh, these are kind of strips of paper that have a piece that is glued onto the spine. This piece that makes the movement of the page and another piece that's inside the, the page, uh, glued inside the pocket page here. I can see a little line here. So they're all strips. And the thing is that using that system makes it that you can have your pages whatever thickness you want. You're not restricted to a certain... Uh, width that you've allowed on your hinge system so because then what you do is when you have all your pages done before you put those strips on there you put them on the spine you oh, you close the book you spread them the one the way you want to have them and then you just make a mark where you where you want to have them and that's that mark that's where you're gonna glue that your little strip of paper so it's very easy and um, I think it's the best way to do it so second page uh, did I do this one? No, I did not. <laughs> First page. So here I made an on-page pocket. So they all have an on-page pocket. One, two, and then this one is on the other side because I made it on the other side. So this first page here is a file. Four envelope file. It has the, so you have the on-page pocket. You have a pocket behind the file. And also you have the pocket of the, of the, the page. Which, so you have three pockets there. A little pocket on top here and four envelopes to put stuff in there and also I made it so it's expandable a little bit as you can see and if this is not full and you want to fill this with photos you can still do that there's room if you put it full then you have a little bit of room still to expand in the envelopes but still you can you can pick wherever you want the thickness to be so that's one next one as you can see I have uh, kept the pages where the nicest uh, unicorns were to make them as stars, star of the page. <laughs> okay, so I used some blanks, I used some of the uh, the puffy stickers, little things here too. So this is magnetized, so it goes like this. You have a photo spot here, you can do journaling here, maybe in the clouds. And this is a little sticker that I've used from these stickabilities. Unicorns gold foil 21 piece, that's how they called. So I made a waterfall like this, and here I made a pocket that goes all the way to the edges and all the way down. I think I wrapped it underneath. I think I might have wrapped it. And uh, I put just this little one card here. They can add photos. So you can use this as journaling. And what I, got, I like about those cards is they have a journaling spot in the back. I'll show you. See? So you have the cards, and this is what you have in the back. So it's perfect if you want to use them as journaling cards. The same with this. It's perfect. And I like that they have all these different size cards. This is so perfect. They know what people need. <laughs> Those guys at uh, DCW, this is what I need. <laughs> it's perfect for me. So this is the page, uh, the first section. Now the next one. So here I made a um, unicorn little sticker. This opens like this. So this is what I, I uh, they're kind of layouts, I call them incrustations, because sometimes I have tiny, tiny little strips, oh, I have this little thing here, tiny little strips uh, that, uh, I have to use this glue, glue it back, of, um, 
of paper to fill the gaps. So it's like uh, when you work in the uh, jewelry and uh, you have those little incrustations of gold and all that. So that's why I call them that, that way. Here I used some paper, print paper, and I kind of uh, crinkled it ahead of time because I know that little girl, she's going to write stuff in there. It's not going to stay flat for long, so might as well crinkle it right away. I thought that would be fun. So all these pages, that's uh, 7 times 4, so almost 30 pages, 28 pages. And I did another one here, so you can put a photo here. And the booklet that I have here, I glued it on the page with strips here that I folded in two, so I made it a pocket. And the pocket that goes all the way to the top and the bottom. And I made this cute card. You can tuck something here. Cute card. So I think it's a fun interaction here. It's a good way to a uh, good way to uh, adhere your journal books onto pages. Next one. So this is a page that I have made something similar in the the grand album uh, vintage and shabby that I have made recently. So here first you have a swing tab. On the top here you have what I call my bulletin board. So I just glue little pieces of uh, of messages or paper, put a little sticker, and just so you can tuck some things in there. It can be little messages, little photos, tiny little photos, or tickets, or whatever you want to keep. I think it was it's a good idea. So I just put a, a, couple of the, a couple of the cutouts so that they can see that they can do that. So this opens this way like this. You have to, again, the incrustations. And then you turn that back closed. And then you open this here. And you open this way, more of the incrustations, this photo spot here. Here you have a pocket in the back here, and here you have a magnet with another pocket here. And this photo mat here, photo mat here, and then more photo mats here. So I thought that was cute. Is that crooked? It's just not folded right. It's pretty straight. There you go. I really like those pages. I like making those incrustations like layout kind of uh, because you can mix so many nice papers together and you use all those little scraps and then you end up like when you have a little piece like this you don't want to throw it away because you need it maybe sometime for just putting a little strip that you need exactly the right size. So I use all my little scraps for that. Here the next page I just um, put a tuck spot here, put a little card. So this opens with a magnet again. Nice cute little uh, sticker from this sticker sheet here. You can put a little photo here, maybe a little message like a name of someone, whatever. Opens here again, incrustations. I use a couple more of the stickers here. Two photos here. And then here you have the same one photo or journaling, whatever. And then another photo here, a little journal spot. So I took the this one here, I think, or this one, I don't know. Take chances. I thought that take chances didn't mean nothing, but I like the back of it, so, so they can journal on that and put little stickers because I'm, I goofed here a little bit. And then here, two more of the incrustations. So you like, I have paper here, the same here, it goes there, and then this here and there. I think it's so much fun to make. I have made a whole project. I call it uh, the um, <clears throat> the um, photo book with incrustations. The whole thing is made like that. So again, the pocket here, and then the pocket in the back. Well, it's on the other side. And I put some of the stickers again here. Here I made this page that everybody likes. So I have this card. So this is a card like uh, Claire from My Creative Spirit makes, so that you can tuck something in there. It's, it's only glued here and here, and attached here and here with this little piece of uh, tool. But what I do is I add an, an extra one. So I have another one here with a tuck spot. So they can put a couple photos here. Glue one here, maybe tuck one there. And then glue one here, glue one here, tuck something in here. And that's the back. So this, as it's in its pocket, it closes everything. Closes the, the gatefold. And this nice trim I got in my dollar store. Here I have some little things I need to remove. So it opens here. And here I have those little pockets that I just glued there because uh, I didn't have any room to have it wrapped around so I just glued them and then when I glue them together, I mean when I glue them on, I put glue on the U shape and when uh, this is nice and uh, stable, these two here I just press inwards just a little bit to make it puffy so that it's easy to put a, something in there. did the same here as you can see it's a little puffy. 
And here I made my uh, interrupted image that I like making. So you have this way that the uh, the image goes underneath for just for the while of the uh, the border here. So you don't have it stretched. Like so, the donut, donut is not stretched. It's the same image. So that's that page. And then the last one is just a belly band with three ribbons and trims and things like that. And I put extra cards that were left over because I wanted to use them all. And they can journal in the back, as you can see. And this one is a little booklet because I have two cards I wanted to leave together. So that's my book. So I'm really, really happy with the result. I had a lot of fun, and I can't wait to make the other ones uh, because I'm going to make two more. Probably a folio, a couple folios, something like that. Maybe something like, uh, I don't know, maybe an uh, endless book, never-ending book, something like that. I don't know. I'll see. But anyways, I hope you liked it. If you did, you can click on that thumbs up button. And then if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do so. So you can see so many things. And then I have a couple of tutorials coming. And I do mostly French tutorials, but you have a series coming uh, pretty soon. Or maybe you have, by the time I publish this, maybe it'll be all done. So, but anyways, there's this uh, series of the Tim Holtz small folio. You can see how to exploit it at the most, at the maximum you can. And also I make some quick little uh, tutorials so once in a while when I do something and then uh, I think of something that might be interesting for someone who doesn't know how to. So I just make this uh, quick express tutorial. So thank you for watching and until next time, well happy scrapping. Bye bye.